women don't love the same way men do. And this is so incredibly important. When you're understanding women, if you are considering going into a long-term relationship with a woman, marriage, anything like that, exclusively living together with a woman, if you are considering that, this is going to be really important for you to understand. Now, before we get started, just to clarify again, I'm a Minnesota Twins fan, but this is Ken Griffey Jr. Left-handed, I'm a lefty, it's the best baseball player ever. Okay, prepare yourself for this, because if taken the wrong way, this can make you really kind of upset with women. But if you can take this and just see it for what it is, and uh, kind of an, an example is like, um, if you go to the zoo, you would not get into the cage with a gorilla. You wouldn't step inside the same like ring as a lion because if you did, you don't know what would happen, but you would be prepared for the worst. And you would not get mad at the lion or the gorilla. You would understand, okay, I just, I just gotta understand that's their nature and you learn from it and you stay outside. I kind of consider long-term relationships or marriage is you are getting inside that zoo. You're walking inside that ring with the lion or with the gorilla. So the difference between men and women and how we love, and I've kind of said this before in, in a different way, but I hope this actually provides better uh, clarity. I've said that Men, we fall in love with our eyes, and so we can kind of fall in love like with the idea of a woman right away, work it up in our head. We can be ready, like thinking, oh man, I'm gonna marry this woman, she's amazing, she's awesome. If she just has a couple things going for her, we just like play it up in our head and we get so excited. It's, it's very romantic of us, actually, and women say that we're not romantic, but it's pretty romantic how guys kind of see love and romance. Now women, I've said this before, that women fall in love slowly because they fall in love with your personality over time. So they have to get to know you as a man before they fall in love and they fall in love with your status. So um, a even maybe more clear way to say that is that women fall in love with what you can bring to their life. So when I said women fall in love with your personality, and when I say like in your texting, you always text back slow so she sees you as a busy guy. You're always doing something important, um, reading books, uh, doing projects, working, you're at meetings. Because remember, that shows you're driven, you have ambition. So that's where women would fall in love with your personality because, but here's where it connects, is that because what that does is that tells her that you would always provide for her. So what could you bring to her life? All right, so to just kind of step back for a moment, us men are almost the true romantics because we can fall in love, and think about it this way. All right, this is, nature intended, intended us this way for a reason. So think about this. A woman who is gonna give birth, she would have nine months of caring for this child, and then she has to find a guy that can protect her and her child. She has to find a guy, so she wants the best chance of survival for her and her kid. That's programmed in her so that our species stays alive. All right, so just understanding that, you can rationally see, okay, yeah, that makes sense, right? She needs to select the best mate possible because she has to, and again, remember, women don't know this, just like you're learning this for potentially the first time. Women, a lot of times, don't know this. Maybe, like, maybe they can kind of, sort of understand this, but they don't necessarily know this. Um, most women anyway. So uh, because of that, that's where that's her nature. That's why I talk about you, you're stepping in, into that zoo, understand her nature. Her nature is what can you do for my life? Now, here's where it gets tricky. Because if you're a guy like playing the principles and owning your frame, that means as a masculine man, you have direction, you have purpose in life, and you don't sway for her. Okay, when you're doing that, women don't, they see 
member, that guy that like, what can he do for my life? And so women fall in love with this guy more and more over time because he's driven, he's ambitious, and he's getting stuff done. Now, if this guy <laughs> decides to, and, and, and here's where it's really tricky for us guys because we are programmed, so she needs a guy that can provide for her and her offspring. That's what she needs to survive. Us men, we are programmed to provide. We're programmed to provide for somebody. So by just thinking about that simply, we can, we get happy just by providing for something. So that is why men fall in love in a different way. Like I get to the point where, and I just understand games so much that I have to just see it for what it is, but I still know the feelings where I'm like, oh, this girl's really, really cool. And it's like, man, I really, I could see myself just wanting just to give everything for her, just give her all my attention, all that. But that is because that's our biology. So again, I understand my own biology and I understand women. And that's where a lot of guys get um, sideswiped because we fall in love in a certain way and then we expect that women do the same way. So we almost think as guys, all right, we're married, great, I love her, she should love me too. But what happens is, remember, women's, it's their biology, so it's not like, okay, women are, it's like, I don't know how it would be to be a woman, I just understand it and um, I see it for what it is. I don't, I can't hate on it, I, I don't know what it's like to be a woman, but think about that. A guy falls in love, goes, gets married, Okay. Oh, the guy's like, awesome. We can spend the rest of our life together happily ever after. It's weird. It's almost like we as the guys are the romantics and we're told it's the opposite. We're told that men aren't romantic, but we, that, okay, that's us, right? Well, women, they get, you know, you guys get married. Well, remember, it's what can you bring to the table? So if this guy here stops being driven, he stops chasing goals, he stops his ambition, he stops working out, he stops taking care of his body. Remember, she's going to go, well, that sucks. And she's going to look for what is the best, what can bring my life the best um, chances of survival for me and my offspring. Even if she doesn't have kids. Remember, this is just in their brain. You just guys got to understand it. Um, I might get hate for this, but that's why I, I got to be honest here. If you as a man stop being on your purpose, then and you just go oh happily ever after this is where guys get sideswiped because if that moment occurs and then this is where female hypergamy is what it's called all i know is that i first heard about this from rollo tomasi reading the rational male that book that really gave me a very like rational outlook on this type of thing and uh so there's a bunch of other guys I learned throughout the years that I would love to give credit to. It's just all mush. I mean, I, I just read so much and have so much content in my head. But I do know for sure, Rolo Tomasi gave it to me straight like this, basically. And uh, so female hypergamy is basically this idea that women will look at what can you do for my life. So since they're biologically designed this way, and I think Rolo Tomasi also taught me this. I just remember it and it makes sense to me is that back in the days, just or just think Game of Thrones, right? If a um, one army invaded a town, the men conquered the town and then they took women to be their wives. So in women's biology, this is how it was explained to me and it makes a lot of sense and I, it only confirms it with what I see in the actual dating world um, is that because of that, women had to actually learn how to detach their feelings from that like long-term relationship. They had to be cooler with being able to detach if a better option came along. Because again, remember, for their own survival. Because if a, if back in the, you know, when, think of our biology. If a neighboring like tribe came and just wiped out your tribe, your men, and then they just took wives and you didn't have a choice in it, then you had to learn how to survive. You had to. Like that, that makes sense to me. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So that is why I don't get upset with women about this, but I'm very careful with women because of this. So understanding now um, female hypergamy is basically that then if a woman sees a better option for her survival, then women will drop 
the guy they're with and move on to the better option. Now this you see all of the time in the dating world where the really good guy, the nice guy, gets like gets um, just ran on over by the jerk or the bad boy, the alpha male. Okay, so you have the alpha and the beta. This happens in the date. You see it all the time. the The beta will the beta guy is what we we call the um, the nice guy that will take her out, wine her and dine her, and do all this, be there for her, give her flowers and all that. And then she's like, "Oh, thank you." And then she leaves, and she comes on over to a guy like my place. And so it's because I've learned the game and I understand the game. But so thinking about that with female hypergamy. And definitely, let's talk about this more um, below the video or in roundtable community. We can talk about this um, because so that's the also the idea with monkey branching is that so a woman has a guy right, and if she finds a better option, so a guy at work starts flirting with her and he has higher status, he can provide more for her life. It's just in women's biology to be triggered like this. Now this is why I say if you're that man on your purpose always, women won't try to monkey branch if they don't have a better option. That's why I, you know like when I date women, I just know like hey, if you want to if you want to hang out with me, awesome, cool. If not, whatever. I just know go date around. You're going to want to hang out with me later because I'm I know the game and I'll just be relaxed and I'll just I understand female nature and I don't I don't put up, like I don't jump through hoops for them and women respect you because of that. All right, so monkey branching. Monkey branching is basically that if a woman has a man, she will not, like a monkey, the monkey goes from branch to branch swinging or think of like monkey bars, right? You're on one monkey bar, you hold on to the next before you let go. That is this idea that if a woman has a man, husband, boyfriend, just dating around, she has a man, that she had, well, she finds a man with higher status, then in her biology, if she can, if she can, that's why she will not leave a man until she's able to grab that branch. So this guy keeps flirting with her. Oh, he's all into her. Oh, he's going to provide for her more. She grabs that branch, then she can let go of this one. And this is why a lot of guys, and I, I really feel for them, um, if this ever happened to you, it used to happen to me, never to the extent of like, total heartbreak, devastation, divorce, because I learned this around like 18 years old is when I really started to dig into this. But I feel for the guys that it's like totally out of nowhere, especially a lot of divorces, because women have this tendency of, remember, biologi biologically it makes sense. You know, if we just look at this neutrally, it makes sense that if a woman had a better option, she would. And now we know why, the history kind of of it. So when it comes about is higher status in the real world, uh, we rightfully so, if this has happened to you, it can be very, very frustrating thinking that women are superficial or all they do is care about themselves. But just understand, that is the biology. You understand why they might potentially have a kid. And to women, this has got to drive them crazy. Think about this. <laughs> <laughs> women don't understand, and they do this all the time, they don't understand. They'll come over to my place and they don't understand when I'm, when I won't settle down with them, like I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna date you. I'm, I'm not gonna have a long-term commitment. You, you either like that or you don't. I'm straightforward, right? Well then uh, eventually women will complain about they don't understand why, you know, the, they don't like the guys that like them is what they say. So this would be so confusing to women. If you really think about it, that would kind of suck. Um, in a different way. It sucks, you know, on both sides if you don't understand this, but that is why everything in the principle is all about you're doing less, you're keeping that frame as a man, you're masculine, because then she has to run, chase you. That is the only way it ends up successful because if you start to um, lose your purpose, lose your masculinity as a man, lose yourself, like it's as simple as you want to go out for a beer with your buddies, you don't ask her for permission? Are you kidding me? I know I have guys all the time. Let me check with the chief. Let me check with the, you know, they check with their wife. That right there, okay, is your, it's going to end in a disaster because what will happen is every time you do that, you check in, she starts to go, wow, this guy is not very high status. It's just programmed in her. She just starts to go, oh, wow, that's a needy. That's, 
And then eventually, if a higher status guy comes along, boom, she moves on to him. This guy gets left in the dust in divorce courts. In um, family courts are so against men in the Western world. And I haven't been through that, but I've researched enough lately that it's like really terrifying if you don't understand this stuff. So this is just kind of my be mindful of every everything I say. You got to really understand that this is legit, like hardwired into us. Maybe we should talk about this more. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe. Peace.